Hey there, welcome back to Hackboard. In this video, I'm super excited to show you how to harness the power of Python and the Google Sheets to create an automated data management system. Imagine you're running an online service that generates the data constantly, maybe user feedback, sales data, or even a sensor readings. Instead of manually updating the Google Sheets, they'll automate the entire process. This video will not only save you time, but also open up a world of possibilities for data analysis and management. Let's get started. So, before uh, we dive into the code, let's set the stage with some context on why and what we are doing. So why use Google Sheets and Python for automation? So Google Sheets is a fantastic tool for managing data due to its accessibility, is of use, and cloud-based nature. However, when dealing with the large volumes of data or frequently updating the information, manual data uh, entry can become tedious and error-prone. By using Python, we can automate the process of data insertion, retrieval, and analysis, and making it more efficient and reliable. So what we'll be doing here? We'll first set up the Google Sheets API. That means like we'll configure our environment to communicate with the Google Sheets API using Python. Next, we simulate data generation. We'll simulate the data generation from the service and insert this data into the Google Sheets. Next is fetch and analyze data. So we'll fetch the data from the Google Sheets and perform some basic analysis. Next is like uh, update the data based on the analysis. We'll update the Google Sheets based on the analysis results to demonstrate this complete cycle of data management. Now that we understand the why and what, let's move on how to. So first is setting up the Google Sheets API and Python environment. First, make sure you have the necessary Python libraries installed. Uh, so we'll be using the G spread for the Google Spreadsheet interaction and, and OAuth2 client for authentication. Install this libraries using the pip. So pip install G spread OAuth2 client. So in, to interact with Google Sheets, we need to authenticate our Python script with the Google APIs. This involves setting up the service account in the Google Cloud and downloading the credentials JSON file. Here's how we do it. So let's go to the Google uh, console website. So I'm here at the Google console website. So I have already created project, but let's create a new project for demo purpose. Um, Let's name it Python Automation. So now it's creating the project. So we selected the project. And now we need to enable the Google API and the Drive API. So go, this, go, uh, go to uh, APIs and Services and enable uh, APIs and Services. We see nothing here, of course because we haven't enabled any APIs and services, right? Let's enable them. So what we need is Google Sheet API. So we enable it. Next is Google Drive API. So yeah, now we enable it. So we can also enable this by going to the library and search for the APIs and services. This is just another way. So now that we enable these APIs, we need to download the JSON key. How do we do that? Uh, we need to create a service account and then uh, we have to create a key. So let's go to the credentials. Let's create credentials. Service account, name it as uh, service account as Python automation. Select a role. Here we need an editor role for this. So now we click here and go to keys, add key, create new key, JSON. I'm saving it as a Python automation.json. Now we need to create a Google spreadsheet. Service data. So here we need to share this with the email ID of the service account we created. So let's get that email ID. How do we get that? Uh, we have it downloaded, right? 
we can go here open it and just take the client email here we start it here give the editor role now our environment is ready so let's connect your google sheets uh so here we got the code ready for that uh, so here basically we are defining the scope and then adding the credential to the service account uh, here we need to like give the proper path for that and here this just uh, for authorizing the client and then we just open the spreadsheet this is the spreadsheet name we just uh, had it and this is just to select this first sheet so we're giving zero so if it's successful then it means that we're able to connect to that spreadsheet so let's see that in action so we have the worksheet right so it means that it's successfully connected and authenticated let's simulate a scenario where our service generates our user feedback data so we'll insert this data into our google sheets automatically uh, this step mimics the real world application situations where the data is generated continuously such as the user reviews transaction logs or sensor readings So I got the code ready for simulating the data generation and insertion. So this is uh, just I'm taking a sample data. So here uh, we have the headers, timestamp, user ID, feedback, and sentiment. So here I had a sentiment uh, call a header for the future analysis. So so here we are just appending the row to insert the headers. So this worksheet is sheet one we have here. This one. So next, uh, we define a function to simulate a data generation and insertion. So here we just iterate into the feedback data from one on, uh, from the index one onwards because we already have the uh, headers added, right? So that's why. Uh, and then um, we just apply the row to the worksheet, and then this this is just to uh, print what's happening currently. So we just uh, doing that insert feedback, and what is the feedback uh, is inserted to the worksheet. And then uh, we just simulating the delay for the new feedback. This is just to simulate the real world thing. So let's run this. So yeah, the first uh, feedback is inserted and the second is inserted. Similarly, uh, yeah, we got all the feedbacks inserted. So next is fetching and analyzing the data. So once that data is in the Google Sheets, we can fetch it and perform some analysis. For instance, let's calculate the total number of feedback entries and do a basic sentimental analysis. Uh, I got the code ready for same. So he basically this step is to fetch all the records we have and then we calculate the total feedback entries. This is just calculating the length uh, and then here we're doing a simple sentiment analysis, just counting the keywords for demonstration. So for positive feedback, we're checking for the word great and for the negative feedback, we're checking for the word average. So let's submit. Uh, so let's run this. So yeah, total feedback entries is three. And uh, for the positive feedback, we have one and negative feedback, we have one. So let's see that. So yeah, that's correct. Actually, uh, we have grade for one thing and we have average for one thing. So it's one one. So it's correct. So basically, this kind of analysis helps in understanding uh, user satisfaction and identify the areas of improvement. So updating the uh, so next is updating data based on the analysis. So uh, Let's update our Google Sheet with the results of our sentiment analysis. We'll tag each feedback entry as positive or negative. So I got the code ready for same. So I've got the code ready for same. So here we're just uh, enumerating to the records we have. And then uh, I mentioned sort is equal to two because uh, we have to account for the headers. So for the sentiment uh, head, uh, column, uh, we're inserting positive if there is a grade in the record, else we insert a negative. So we just update the cell of like this is the uh, index and then uh, fourth, this is the fourth column, right? Here's the fourth column, see? So, and then uh, we insert the sentiment. So let's run this code. So yeah, sentiment analysis updated in the sheet. We see that the sentiment analysis updated here. Conclusion, and that's a wrap. We have successfully automated the process of storing, analyzing, and updating the data in the Google Sheets using Python. This powerful combination saves you time and reduces manual errors, making the data management a breeze. Whether you're running a service, connecting service, or uh, monitoring sensor data, this automation can significantly streamline your workflow. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Drop a comment to learn how you plan to use Google Sheets and Python in your projects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.